Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly tighten up and improve an ugly slide in PowerPoint in mere seconds. Hi, my name is Camille Holden and I'm a PowerPoint expert and coach. I help busy professionals save hours and gain peace of mind by teaching them how to master the software they use every day rather than letting the software be the master of them. Most people who work on presentations aren't just short on inspiration and design ideas, they're short on time. That's why today I'm gonna to show you some tools and tips for really quickly taking a slide that's ugh and turning it into something that's decent. Now, what do I mean by decent? The problem with many of the presentations I see out there is that they're not polished and professional looking. You could add a bunch of fancy graphics and whiz bang animations and dazzling effects, but the slides would still be sloppy and that would reflect poorly back on you. So let's look at an example presentation and I'll show you some quick tips for really improving it very quickly. All right, so here we have an example presentation and it's just a few slides I pulled from past work and examples to give you an idea of the types of presentations that I often see and that you might be faced with. So notice as I jump from slide to slide that the title keeps moving around, right? We also have a new font here. We also have, you may or may not notice, there is a different uh, font color as well here. We have some things that seem to be uh, not aligned and positioned and everything about this presentation really screams sloppy. Um, it's, uh, it's not only just bare and unattractive, but it's also sloppy. Things are not aligned and this is meant to be a very professional presentation and this is just not gonna cut it. And there are a few some very simple things we can do already to improve it without reinventing the wheel or having to come up with some crazy graphic. Now, while there are many ways we could improve these slides, many, many ways, the very bare minimum should be that everything is aligned and consistent. So that's the first thing we're gonna do to improve these slides. And whenever I get a presentation from a client that looks like this, the very first thing I do is reset the layouts. If the presentation was built correctly using the template, then you should be able to readjust all the text so that it jumps back to exactly where it should be. So let's take a look. So here in my presentation, if I hit reset, You'll notice everything jumps back into place. Everything uh, is now aligned properly and in the correct place based on, based on the layout here in the template. However, we did lose our bold. And if we wanted to keep our bold, let me just control Z to undo that. If we wanted to keep our bold, instead of hitting reset up here, you can simply reapply the layout by going to layout and selecting the current layout that is already on. So if I select it again, you'll notice that everything jumps back into position However, we keep our bold and our basic um, text formatting. So those are two tools, reset and uh, reapplying a layout. And they work slightly differently in that the reapplying the layout maintains any font text formatting, whereas resetting resets literally everything to back to what the basic layout was set as. Now I can go and do this to the other slides. If I hit reset for this one, you'll notice that things actually don't realign. And the reason is that this layout is a title only layout. So the title is set correctly here in the placeholder. However, these are simple text boxes and shapes. So we're gonna look at tools for uh, realigning this uh, in a minute here. If I keep going, I'm gonna hit reset for this one because I want the font color to be uh, exactly what the layout is supposed to be. So this resets. And here you'll notice that this is a different font. It's not part of our uh, font family inside of the template. Show you here, we, sh we should have um, Calibri Light for the headings. So if I hit reset, everything will jump back into position and we'll also get the correct font. So that's the very first thing I do for all presentations is I will either reset or reapply the layout. We can also do it to the title here. Um, that means we're going to have to readjust this, but that's perfect because there are some things I want to change about this slide. Um, so that is the very first thing I do. I always go to either reset or reapply the layout for any presentation that I'm given, especially one that's using a corporate template. If you're not using a template or if you're using um, a lot of blank layouts, like title only or blank, then resetting is not going to do anything. So unfortunately, you're going to have to spend a lot of time aligning things manually. Now, if you're not using a template or if you're using some slides that are that don't have um, a full full range of placeholders, and that's perfectly fine. Not all slides needs to use. Not all slides need to be uh, using one of these types of layouts. You're going to need to rely on your uh, smart guides as well as your alignment tool. So 
Here in PowerPoint, we have some very handy tools. If you select a shape and you drag it, notice you get some little red lines and some dotted arrows. This is basically PowerPoint helping you um, align and distribute things evenly. So I'm gonna place this that it's aligned on the left with the title, whoops. Let's do that again, aligned on the left with the title. Uh, that is the very first thing I wanna do. I want everything to be aligned to the left because the eye is gonna read this way. So the, the more it's uh, aligned to the left, the, the more polished and consistent it looks. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shape and I'm going to align it to the, the, the box. Notice uh, it's aligned perfectly now here in all areas, let go. And I'm going to select this one and drag it in as well. Now, the you might be wondering, are these evenly spaced, these blocks of blue shapes? Well, no, they're not. It looks like the space here is actually different and that is small but noticeable. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to uh, spread these apart evenly. And there are some tools to do this. The first tool is called um, the Arrange tool uh, and the Align command. So if you go under Position Objects and Align, uh, by the way, this also exists here in the Shape Format Align, maybe easier to get to get to this way. If you go to a line, you have lots of options. Um, one of them is distribute horizontally, distribute vertically. Now you need to select multiple objects in order for this to work. Now, if I were to select, let's just say, all three of these titles and say uh, distribute horizontally, they would move and they would be spaced evenly. And I could either go back and align this one now so that it's perfectly aligned, or what you can do, especially if you have lots of different shapes, is you can group these first. So if you select multiple objects and go to group, or you can hit Control G on your keyboard. All right, select all of these. I'm gonna hit Control G, select all of these. On a Mac, I believe it's Command Shift G. Uh, if you select all three of these now, you can go to align, distribute horizontally, and they will jump evenly amongst um, themselves. So it takes this edge, the furthest leftmost edge and the rightmost edge and uses that and distributes everything evenly between them. Now, you may wonder, you know, should I center this on the slide? That's a very good idea. Or you can align it left here. So what you can do is either drag this so that it's aligned and it looks like we're not getting, oh, there we are. We're getting our smart guys. Otherwise, what you can do is you can group this grouping of objects. So control G again. Now we've grouped these different groups together. And what you can do is select those plus something, um, one of these elements you want to align to the left to. You can select it by holding shift or control and that will select it as well. And then if you go to the align tool and select align left, it will jump to the left and be perfectly positioned here on the side. So those are some of your tools, align and grouping and distributing, and those really ensure that everything looks professional and, um, and evenly spaced out. And that's basically um, the bare minimum really that you should have on any presentation. I won't tell you that this is the most beautiful slide or that any of these are looking great now, but they are at the very basic level, um, fundamentally decent looking slides in that they're not sloppy. Now, the next thing I like to do is just to add a little bit of color and pop and uh, layout organization to some of these slides. Now, the new version of PowerPoint, so if you have Office 365, now called Microsoft 365, you have this new option here at the very end called Design Ideas or Designer. If you click on Design Ideas, again, if you're using a template, uh, PowerPoint is going to come up with a bunch of different layout ideas for you that will make your presentation look a lot more polished. Now you can choose any of these, you can click to see more design ideas, um, and you will find a lot of different examples. You also find that you have options for each one of the slides. The only option that you won't have uh, slides for, slide ideas for, is for any layout that doesn't have enough content. So you'll notice that um, this only has one title placeholder. That's why designer is not capable of coming up with suggestions for us because there's really not enough content for it to go with. So I'm gonna show you exactly what the presentation would look like after I had selected a bunch of these different ideas and uh, you'll see that it's already a whole lot better. So here we have the presentation that I created in the end using those very simple tips of resetting, reapplying layout, and using designer um, along with some of the alignment tools. Now a couple of things that I've done differently for this presentation is I also uh, resized things a little bit. I made, I mean, th these elements a little bit smaller. 
I made the logo bigger to emphasize whose company we are discussing here. Uh, you can obviously decide to put that smaller and over in the corner if that's not as important. I also uh, added this uh, design element here. I added these shapes individually uh, because PowerPoint for, um, for this one in particular, PowerPoint wasn't able to, not sure that's there, PowerPoint wasn't able to come up with an idea. So I added my own shapes here and threw these in to, uh, to create the same effect and look that we had in Designer and I adjusted the colors to match as well. Uh, in this particular slide, I actually removed a lot of the uh, secondary bullet points so I could combine the two slides into one and have it all here listed in one place. Now, again, are these slides the best slides on the planet? Uh, I would argue not, but they are definitely a heck of a lot better than what we had to begin with. And again, these took, took very little time to, uh, to quickly polish up and make look professional. All right, so those were some very simple and quick ways to take a presentation with slides that look uh, to something that looks decent and professional and something that you would be somewhat proud of to be able to show someone and you did it in very quick time. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts were and make sure to subscribe to the ASAP YouTube channel for more videos like these. Also, if you're interested, head on over to my YouTube channel, Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I hope you have a wonderful day.